Hi there! Today I will set up the backbone of the mast. Normally you would make a strong back to have uh, stations to put on. Here I will use uh, Luff Grow as a strong back. It was made reasonably straight in a uh, previous episode. I'm uh, thinking about putting uh, glass on the inside and uh, thus I will need to prepare this surface for putting glass on it. The first thing I will do is to sand this just to make it completely flat. But I will do that outside. So let's go there. So I have brought in the old mast that I want to replace, or at least the lower part of the old mast. I wanted to take some measures out of this. Uh, for transportation reasons, I want to make the new mast uh, 20 cm longer. It will not be a problem to take that on a roof rack, uh, but the part that is going inside the car will be a little bit shorter that way and thus it's much easier to fit inside the car. The lower part of the mast will need to be solid, just like the old mast. To have uh, something really solid to, to screw into for the boom fittings here and also for, for the cleats. I prepare for the work on the lower part with drawing the exit hole from the grow. I only need to copy the pattern from the old mast. The multi-tool is perfect for this type of cutting. I cut along the grow to make the exit hole wide enough to let out the sail and change tool to cut the short upside of the exit hole. With the stop it is easier to get the correct depth. With the chisel I break off the last attachments. Some trimming is needed. Now I will need to remove the grove on the lower part. It is not needed below the exit hole, so I cut it open. Soon I can remove the side pieces of the grow. Trim the surfaces and the bottom. I prepare for a scarf joint and cut a diagonal cut. The length of this cut will make the joining very strong. I save the sawdust for a later need. With several smaller pieces of wood glued together, the mast will get stronger than made out of one solid piece. Also, it is stronger when the pieces end at different heights. Thus, I let the three pieces end at different places. A rough surface also improves the strength of the epoxy joinings. This is where the exit hole is. And uh, this distance down to the bottom of the mast, I want to fill this uh, with um, solid wood or almost solid wood. So I have just um, shaped this to fit into the hole here reasonably well and I will use thickened epoxy in between here to fill that even better. So now I can uh, 
cut off this one at the end, bottom end here. Then I need two pieces each on this side and I have uh, prepared for a scarf joining here to make it really strong on both sides, just a little offset from each other. So that's what I'm going to do now and then when that is done I will glue them in place and then the ho whole lower part of the mast is ready to be set up. When the pieces are dry fitted I can mix up the epoxy. To get a good mixing of harder and base I mix in the thickener after I have got a good mixing. A thick layer is smeared on all surfaces. After being left to suck in I add a second layer. To keep the epoxy filled voids light I use sawdust. Mixing sawdust with epoxy gives an artificial wood material. Now I can fit the parts together. Make sure all gaps are filled. With some masking tape and clamps it will cure in place. Last chance to adjust, but it looks good. Still, sanding is needed another day to get it smooth. I will also need to straighten the edges. And notice more material is needed. On both sides. I trim the ending to the correct length, also on the top part of the mast. This feels a bit nervous as I have put in some work to get here. For stations I draw profiles on plywood and cut them out. Similar profile as the old mast, with an oval rounding. I make several profiles out of board. This will make up the stations on the mast. Smaller on the top part of the mast. I mount the profiles on the endings. I put masking tape in between to not later glue them to the mast. Also around the profile. I will need some stations in between. So I cut these in halves to fit with the backbone. A 
and screw them in place. Tape the sides as I do not want the whole mass to be glued together now. I will make the front half first, back to where I am sewing. I place the stations at even intervals and tape them to avoid gluing them to the mast. Now I am ready for the next phase, that will be in the next episode. Thank you for watching, hope to see you next time.